They have certainly spared no expense. Someone emptied a whole bag of turnips into the fire. Honored, Inquisitor. Gotzi Sturholm. Did my part on the walls, and now I'm on this strange collection you've brought us. Don't know it's worth to the fight, exactly, but it's good workmanship. Where did you learn your skills? Orzammar. Carved a few statues in my day. And before you ask, yes, I chose to leave. I carved a paragon who turned out to be a sodding madwoman. Couldn't stand looking at it. The memory of a dwarf, right? Any ideas about the origins of these reliefs? To Vinter, early. It's in the tool marks, the grain. That's hard dust mined from the Hundred Pillars, if I know anything. Oh, I suppose the scene is probably full of to Vinter robes, too. The Hundred Pillars? Damnedest things. Massive spires that aren't stone. It's like a mortar. Don't know more than that. Strong, though. Do you have insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Tell you what. You finish one, and I'll write it up. Who better, right? A good dwarven perspective. Another time. Best of the vein, Inquisitor. Sleep well? I've never done anything like that before, on a number of levels. <laughs> I apologize. The kiss was impulsive and ill-considered, and I should not have encouraged it. You say that, but you're the one who started with tongue. I did no such thing. Oh, does it not count if it's only fade tongue? It has been a long time. And things have always been easier for me in the fate. I am not certain this is the best idea. It could lead to trouble. I'm willing to take that chance, if you are. I... maybe, yes. If I could take a little time to think. There are... considerations. Take all the time you need. Thank you. I am not often thrown by things that happen in dreams. But I am reasonably certain we are awake now. And if you wish to discuss anything, I would enjoy talking. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found the ruin of Baron Dur, a lost to Vinter's city very deep beneath a dead and barren wasteland. Volcanic ash had sealed it tight. In one dark moment, every living creature in the city seared and smothered. They were statues in the ashes like a mold made to recall the lost. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. I met a friendly spirit who observed the dreams of village girls as love first blossomed in their adolescence. With subtlety, she steered them all to village boys with gentle hearts, who would return their love with gentle kindness. The matchmaker, so I called her. That small village never knew its luck. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a savage human horde go marching toward the battlefront. They sang a soldier's hymn to keep formation. The primal music shook the ground. These savage, unwashed warriors carried harmonies no chantry choirs mastered. Though their cause was all but hopeless, they sang songs that made the spirits weep. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Brilliant, isn't it? One moment you're trying to restore order in a world gone mad. That should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. 
What? You thought this would be easy? No, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. Am I speaking too quickly for you? You don't need to worry about me. I can keep up. Yes, I noticed that. Did you know? Certainly. If you were a slack-jawed yokel, you'd already be dead. I always assumed the elder one behind the Venatori was a magister. But this is something else completely. In Tevinta, they say the Chantry's tales of magisters starting the blight are just that. Tales. But here we are. One of those very magisters, a dark spawn. Who does the Imperium say started the Blight? You know how it is. Not us. They say Darkspawn were always there. Magisters and the Blight aren't even related. Is that a surprise? No one wants to admit they shit the bed. But if Corypheus is one of the Magisters who entered the Black City and he's Darkspawn, what other explanation is there? We only know what Corypheus claims to be. True. He might be a convincing liar, or delusional, or insane. But how many delusional maniacs are going to have that knowledge? He broke open the Fade. I knew what I was taught couldn't be the whole truth, but I assumed there had to be a kernel of it, somewhere. But no. It was us all along. We destroyed the world. You didn't do anything. Those men did. A thousand years ago. True. Except that one of them is up and walking around right now. Not to mention I have idiot countrymen who would happily follow him down that path again. No one will thank me whatever happens. No one will thank you either. You know that, yes? That attitude must be why they kicked you out of the Imperium. <laughs> They didn't kick me out? Well, only because they never got around to it. Eventually, they might have. All I know is this. Corypheus needs to be stopped. Men like him ruined my homeland. I won't stand by and let him ruin the world. Oh, and congratulations on that whole leading the Inquisition thing, by the way. Greetings, Inquisitor. That is your title now, yes? I should thank you. The way things ended in Redcliffe, you could have demanded anything you wished. Yet you chose to make us equal partners. I was not expecting that. You rebelled for good reason. I'm pleased to hear you say that, Inquisitor. I've been a Grey Warden, Grand Enchanter, leader of a rebellion, and now I am none of those things. Odd where fate takes you, as you're no doubt well aware. I trust everything is well with the mages. There have been a few scuffles with your Templars, but overall it is going well. You were once a Grey Warden. Mine is an unusual circumstance, Inquisitor. Normally, one is part of the Order until death, but long ago I found myself stripped of what made me a Warden. They tried to reinitiate me, but nothing worked, nor could they figure out how it happened. So I was sent to the Circle of Magi, the first Warden ever to be kicked out. <laughs> Quite the achievement. You sound happy about it. Becoming a Warden seemed like a dream when I was first conscripted. Towards the end, however, my brothers and sisters, they felt I had somehow cheated death. I was glad to leave. It also made me unique in the Circle. I had an opportunity to do more than I ever could as a Warden. You mean you began the Mage Rebellion? I pushed for our vote to free the Circles of Magi. But I cannot claim sole responsibility for what followed. Still, despite all the chaos, I would do it again. What happened, had to happen. You're not still the Grand Enchanter, then? 
Any claim I had to the title ended along with the Circles of Magi, although some still call me by it. Perhaps the Circles will one day be resurrected? If so, another will take the position. Until that time, I lead my fellow mages by default. I will do what I can for them. You believe they'll recreate the Circle of Magi after all this? It depends on who the next Divine is, and what she offers. We can't go back to the way things were. But endless warfare benefits no one. That is why I agreed to Justinia's conclave. There must be another solution. I've been meaning to ask, how exactly did the Venatori take control in Redcliffe? Mages constantly found their way to us while we were there. Stragglers, most of them strangers. I had no way of knowing some were actually to winter. They spread whispers, encouraged talk of an alliance, and we were desperate. I'm not proud of our choice, but we were certain Templars were coming. It could have ended far worse. I'll leave you to it.